good morning students hope all of you are doing well today i am going to discuss the last worksheet so check your progress page number 60 so those question answer today i will discuss it okay so let's see the first question you see here the and check your progress page number 60 so answer the following the first question is our define work and energy so you have to write down what is work and what is energy so for this what is the definition of work work is said to be done when a force is applied when a force applied on an object and uh, displaces the object in the direction of the applied force so work is said to be done when a force is applied on an object and the object get displaced in the direction of the applied force that is actually called work done so what is energy energy is defined as the cap ability or capacity to do work so energy is defined as the ability or capacity to do work okay so next question is our question number two so what do you understand by the term simple machine so simple machine a simple machine is a mechanical device that makes our work easier or makes our life easier if a force is applied at one point the simple machine transmit it to the another point with a convenient change of magnitude and direction okay so if we applied uh, uh, applied um, the force is in one point the simple machine actually transmit that to the other another point with a convenient change of magnitude and direction so this is called simple machine so number question number three how is the mechanical advantage of a machine described so already i told you what is mechanical advantage so how easier or faster a machine makes our work is work so is denoted by the term by a term called mechanical advantage so how easier or faster a machine makes our work is de denoted by a term called mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage of a machine is the ratio of the load to the effort so you can write down the expression so mechanical advantage or ma equals to load divided by effort and here actually this question is asking about how is the mechanical advantage of a machine described so that's why you have to write the whole things so if effort is less than load then mechanical advantage is greater than one if effort is greater than load then mechanical advantage is less than one and if effort equals to load then mechanical advantage equals to one so those machines that have mechanical advantage greater than one usually that kind of machine makes our task easier okay so now question number four um, state the principle of levers so the principle of a lever states that the product of load and the load arm is always equal to the product of the effort and the effort arm and then you have to write load into load arm equals to effort into effort arm so this is the principle of levers now question number five what is the basis of classification of levers so the basis of class classification of levers is based on the relative positions of load effort and fulcrum so based on their position of the lever effort and fulcrum the lever can be classified into three types or three classes class one class two and class three lever okay so now is the very important parts of this chapter is the numerical problem so first question is our question number b solve the following numerical problems the length of a class 1 lever is 2 meter calculate its mechanical advantage if the fulcrum is at a distance of 40 centimeter from the effort so for this type of question as i told you you have to draw the diagram at first so at first you draw the diagram the class 1 lever so fulcrum is in the in between the load and effort so load is one end and the effort is the another end in the middle of that or in between load and effort you have to draw fulcrum so see here so this is our effort end 
this is our load end and this is our fulcrum so we always fulcrum show as a uh, triangle see and load always show like a rectangle so now the total length is our 2 meter so at first you have to convert it in because that uh, effort arm so that uh, fulcrum is at a distance of 40 cm from the, from the effort point so that is actually called the effort arm so this uh, uh, fulcrum to effort point distance is called effort arm so this is 40 cm but total length is given is 2 meter so at first you have to change in one system of unit so now you have as first you convert it in meter to centimeter to 2 meter is equal to 200 centimeter so now a four arm equals to 40 centimeter that is given in your question so now we have to find out the load arm if the total distance is 200 centimeter and a four arm is 40 centimeter so what about load arm so load arm equals to 200 minus 40 is equal to 160 centimeter so from the principle of lever so we know that load into load arm equals to a four into a four arm so we, den we denoted load by a capital L into load arm equals to 160 centimeter equals to effort E into 40 centimeter. So load by effort is equal to 40 divided by 160. So 1 by 4. So this is actually 0 0.25. So as mechanical advantage we know that the ratio of the load to the effort. So load divided by effort is our mechanical advantage. So 1 by 4 is equal to 0 0.25 okay so it is actually so a mechanical advantage has no unit since it is a actually it is a ratio okay so now question number two question number two what is our question the length of the load arm uh, of a lever is six meter long and its effort arm is three meter long uh, what is the uh, effort required to lift a load of 40 newton okay so you see here for this also uh, you, uh, you draw the diagram. So load arm is given 60 meter, uh, 6 meter, F4 arm is given 3 meter. So now load is equal to 40 newton is given, you have to find out the F4. So same formula we can use load into load arm equals to F4 into F4 arm. So 40 newton into 6 meter is equal to E into 3 meter so meter meter is cancel out so effort we will get the answer is in newton so 40 into so if you do not understand then i am writing here this is actually newton this is meter this is meter so this meter and this meter will be cancel out so now that whole pool result will come in newton okay so 40 into 6 divided by 3 so we will get 80 newton so 80 newton effort we have to be applied or you have to uh, effort uh, 80 newton effort uh, required to lift a load of 40 newton now last question question number three calculate the mechanical advantage of a crowbar of length 240 centimeter if its fulcrum is at a uh, distance of 40 centimeter from the load so at first you have to know crowbar is which class of lever so crowbar actually is a class one lever so at first you draw the diagram of a class 1 lever then this is this distance is called effort arm this distance is load arm so total distance is given to 40 centimeter load arm is given 40 centimeter so now you have to find out the effort arm so effort arm equal to 240 minus 40 so 200 centimeter so according to the principle of the lever load into load arm equals to effort into effort arm so load we can denote uh, express by capital L into load arm equals to 40 centimeter is equal to e effort we expressed by capital E into 200 centimeter. So load divided by effort is equal to 200 by 40 so 5. So mechanical advantage is the ratio of the load to the effort. So load divided by effort so we will get the result 5. So this is our mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage has no unit because it is a ratio of same physical quantity okay uh, so load is also expressed by newton and effort is also expressed by newton so that's why it has no unit so you please check all the question answer it is correct or wrong and do in your classwork copy and next day i will start that another type of uh, simple machine so liver already I one kind of simple machine already i have discussed so from to, uh, from next in my next video i will start 
that uh, another types of simple machine so six types of simple machine are there one already discussed so five more left actually uh, incline plane weight screw pulley and wheel and axle so these five types of simple machine i will discuss in my next video okay so hope you can understand thank you students bye